Hello traders, this is Elizabeth Bilugina and you are watching the daily stock market review by Tradimo. It's Friday the 3rd of May. As you can see, S&P 500 index is trying to recover. On Thursday, the index tested support at 2900 but managed to reverse to the upside. Now we need to overcome a resistance at 2940 to return inside the previous channel and uh, further resistance will be located at 2960. America released the long-awaited labor market data today and it turned out that uh, the figure for non-farm payrolls was strong. America gained 263,000 jobs in April and the unemployment rate declined to 3.6 percent. It was unexpected. However, there was a piece of slightly negative data. We learned that the growth rate of average earnings was only 0.2% versus the forecast of 0.3%. And this um, shows that wage inflation is still problematic and, um, well, it may put a break on the Federal Reserve's rate hike in the future. So the overall the release has a mildly positive impact on American stock market. As for other interesting events, uh, have a look at the chart of Amazon.com Inc. Here we can see that a bullish gap was formed and the stock is now trading in the area of 1945. There was an interesting statement from billionaire investor Warren Buffett. He claimed that his company, Berkshire Hathaway, bought shares of Amazon for the first time. Earlier, Buffett uh, made a lot of positive comments about Amazon and its leadership. And uh, now, finally, the company joined uh, the bulls and the buyers of this stock. This certainly adds to the fact that Amazon is in a strong trend and it has great potential in the long term. As for the near-term prospects, we will need to watch resistance around 1955, which is guarding the way for the level of 2000. And uh, support is located near the lower border of the range within which the price has been trading since um, uh, the second part of April. These are the levels of 1900 and uh, also the Fibonacci level around 1880. Let's also have a look at the stock of Facebook. The company uh, announced that it will increase the pace of development uh, of its cryptocurrency based payment system. The news sent Bitcoin price to six month high versus the USD, although we know that um, Bitcoin is not the cryptocurrency which is used by Facebook. Still, everything is connected and um, there was this positive impact. As for Facebook's stock itself, uh, we can see here a clear sideways range with the top around 198 and the bottom around 190. On the upside, uh, there is the strong resistance of the psychological level and the Fibonacci level. On the downside, it is the top of the gap which uh, was uh, formed earlier this month. So both levels are rather strong and uh, it is possible to trade on the break of um, the level on the upside or the level on the downside. Uh, although the fact that uh, the stock didn't um, close the gap right away is certainly adding credibility to the um, positive dynamics we have seen in April. And uh, finally, we can have a look at the stock of Microsoft, where there was a correction to the downside uh, during the recent days. And uh, here the stock obviously had support in the area of 125.50. If it manages to stay above this level, uh, the chance will be for a recovery towards the key point at 130. 
This is all for today. Thank you for your attention. In uh, during the US session, watch the commands from the Fed members and uh, prepare for the new trading week with Trademo.